Good morning time now is 515. We have storm alert at moderate because we are waking up to some activity, especially in Santa Cruz and parts of Cochise County and now even in southern Pima County. We're starting to see some isolated cells develop. So let's go ahead and do a little radar tour this morning. Still seeing some pretty heavy rainfall coming through Elgin. So uh, some minor flooding may be going on there. If you're heading out the door anytime soon, give yourself extra time. But zooming in on uh, Nogales first, uh, definitely seeing some heavy rainfall around uh, Royal Road and old Patagonia Road. So again, if you're traveling eastward, keep that in mind mind mainly light stuff up and down I-19 between Nogales and Rio Rico, but uh, light stuff for uh, most of you uh, for the Patagonia Mountains still seeing some heavy rainfall. There was a lot of lightning earlier this morning, so that is weakening. Uh, this one's getting stronger, though. This nice little thunderstorm here rolling through Elgin. It's probably loud. You've been dealing with some pretty heavy rainfall kind of up and down Elgin Canelo Road and up towards upper Elgin Road, so that's going to potentially lead to some ponding. If you're doing any traveling towards Sonoida from Elgin this morning, uh, you're going to run into some ponding and some pretty heavy rainfall. Visibility is probably going to be quite low as well because this rain is coming down. Rainfall rates are over about three, three and a half inches per hour. So it's still it's moving, but we're seeing a lot of training. So heavy rainfall kind of falling in the same spot. So flooding could be uh, an issue there here pretty soon. So keep that in mind. Also seeing some light to moderate rainfall roll through uh, over the Huachucas. Sierra Vista, you all had a little bit of rainfall earlier this morning too. Palomina, some isolated stuff at the moment. So roadways will be a little bit wet for the southwestern corner of Cochise County. And then we are seeing some isolated cells develop around Vale and Corona de Tucson. Nothing major at the moment, but those are producing some pretty heavy rainfall rates and not any lightning at the moment, but they could. So we'll keep a close eye on that as well. But that is as far north as those showers have developed so far. So live view outside right now. Up on Mount Bigelow looking towards the south, just pretty cloudy this morning. Of course, the faster we clear out the cloud cover, the better uh, because that will help fuel the thunderstorms later on this afternoon. Temp wise, most of us are in the 70s and 80s, so feeling pretty warm and pretty muggy out there and to the south and southeast, mainly in the 60s right now. So a little bit cooler for our friends there where it's raining uh, for today's uh, highs. We're going to push it into the 90s and low 100s. We'll have a few thunderstorms here in Tucson. We've got about a 30% chance, so remember that means around 70% of us are not going to see anything, so less than half of us will see some showers today. And then to the south and east, depending on how quickly we recover, the atmosphere recovers, we need to see a lot of sunshine there. Uh, we could see some scattered storms, but it just depends on how quickly those clouds clear out and how fast we dry out. Storm threats remain the same. Hail threat is low. Flood, wind and dust will all remain moderate, not only today, but through this upcoming holiday weekend. So just continue to stay storm alert each afternoon. For your future cast right around 8 a.m., still holding on to the cloud cover mainly to the east. Showers will begin to develop around noon, especially to the south and southwest of Tucson. By about 3 p.m., not a whole lot of heavy uh, thunderstorm activity. We have a little bit of action near Douglas, but it looks like most of this will be on the light side. By about 6 p.m., some thunderstorms to the south of Tucson, potentially up towards northern Graham and Greenlee County. And then by about 7, that's when we could see some action here in Tucson and to the south. And then we'll dry things out late tonight into early tomorrow morning. For the forecast rainfall, uh, not overly impressive. You know, trace the mounts to a few hundredths of an inch will be possible for some. Of course, not all of us, but we have a chance for storms every every single day this week and through the holiday weekend. So I know I feel your pain. I haven't had any good thunderstorms at my house yet um, here in Tucson, so I'm still waiting. But really every single day we have an opportunity. Coverage will vary day to day, so you could see some storms maybe tomorrow or the next day. So just hang tight. Low in hundreds for your Tuesday and Wednesday, dropping into the upper 90s the rest of the week. Uh, coverage looks best on Wednesday and Thursday with a 40% chance here in Tucson, dropping to about a 20 to 30% chance for the holiday weekend and on 4th of July itself, so just stay storm alert. That's a check of weather. Now let's go ahead and check out traffic and